now in today's session we will see how we can perform the search operation by using the binary file questions then it will be easier for us to understand the concept of the searching now the question is specified in the here so that we have to write a perform the search operation and we have to search and display the details of all the flights whose destination is mumbai and from a binary file flight.dat and the column information is already specified here now we can see how we can perform that this is the information this is now i am just making this question in the commented form so that first we will import the pickle module we will create a file and then in the question in the exam if it is specified then you don't have to create the function and you don't have to create the or display the information you just have to perform the reading and writing operation here i am just doing all these things so that i can show you how we can how it is displaying whether the we are specified the information is correct or not so that we can execute the things that is why the main idea is to create it each and every time and after that we have to what we have to write in this fn is of integer type enter flight number another is from is the destination and just destination is of the character type enter starting point starting point I'm just copy and pasting the things. Enter destination D. This is the destination point, and we are storing the information in the form of list. You can store the information in the form of a dictionary also. Here you can store F N O in the F N O. We are storing the F information, F N information in the starting. We I am just specifying F R information and in the destination. I am specifying the destination variable in the dictionary form, and after that we are just. storing the pickle using the pickle module using the dump function taking the variable value storing all the information and then we are just closing it now if you want to store the multiple records you can use the for loop also or you can use the while loop your choice n is a int input how many records and do the indenting part and after doing the adding part use the reading operation and just using display function over here performing the same file file name is flight dot dat performing the reading operation in the binary file using the while loop and in the while loop if the conditions are true then it will execute the statement one by one from the file and now if we have to perform the search operation here also you can no need to use this another search operation but in the question it is specified that we have to use the search operation that is why we are using it 
in the question it is specified that we have to use the search function name use the name of the function if in the exam that it is specified that you have to create a function with this name then you have to use the same name in the question i'm just using the same coding and in the coding part just specifying the condition which satisfy the criteria and the question is the destination is mumbai and destination because store in the destination is mumbai specify m is in the form of capital form put in this way do the indenting call the other function in the exam you don't have to use these two functions just specify this thing sufficient for you don't have to create and display the information because in the question it is specified you just have to search and display and now you have to assume that already an information is entered into the file now let's see executing the program to see whether we have written the correct code or not using the file name same you can give any name to your file let's how many records suppose if i am entering flight number is this starting is delhi destination is mumbai another flight name starting is kolkata my mistake jaipur and now you can see that this is the information flight is starting and destination it has shown all the values but it has shown the both the values also why it has shown both the values either my condition is not specified let's see whether the condition is and searching criteria a condition satisfied let's see whether what is the difference destination is mumbai why it has shown all the values to us f1 i am just taking another variable closing another variable using another variable though it will not show anything but let's see what is the a double d r is not defined making this function as commented for condition satisfied r uh, this information we have entered okay this is the information which has already entered in the existing flight i am just using the another file name so that it will be easier for me to execute the things now let's do the things from the scratch just closing it and again displaying the information how many records i am entering to flight number is this entering is jaipur ending is the mumbai flight number is 2 starting point is delhi ending is chennai let's see the condition is satisfying is the correct now let's move to the another now in the exam you don't have to write this thing because in the question it is specified here that you have to just perform the search operation just perform it and no need to write the fun function calling unless and until it is specified in the question to you next question is that we have to count the records total number of records so now we have to count the total number of records which are existing then remove the condition here 
just specified the variable who is doing the counting make the value zero to that variable and after outside the loop just specify the total number of records just specify that variable value in this way we can find out the things i'm just making these two functions in the commented form so that it will display the thing you can display the records also so that you can find out display function is not defined okay my fault i made this function in the commented form removing all these things now you can see there are two records and the records which are satisfying the condition and there are total number of records because i have specified this thing no need to specify the things and no need to specify all the records because it is not specified in the question to you that you have to display total number of records are two now second question is also we have done and another is now we have to function that would read the content from the file game dot dat and create a, another file and we have to copy those records where the game name is the basketball i am just copying the information pasting it now this is the information which is specified okay comment is already i am now just changing the file name is file name is game and how many records in the file name there are only two records one is the game name another is the participants i am just changing here i am just specifying enter name and the participants i am specifying participants participants in the form of numbers i'm just using at here i am also storing the information in the form of dictionary you can store in the form of list also again i am changing the name game in the search operation i am using the game file and because it is we have to create another file with name basket i am using the another file name basket dot dat and no need to use the same case your choice dot wb if you want then you can change basket b game g you can change it your choice in condition satisfied we have to put the values into another file and when we have to put the value just use the pickle and dump function and we have to store the information in another file but not all the records according to condition because here we are storing everything in the form of remove the starting and destination game name and specify party and and what we have to game name is the basketball we have to put the information according to the game name and just specify what we have to put basket for specify the criteria and then display if you want to display because here we are not displaying anything we are putting the information into the file just use the pickle dot dump use the variable name and then specify the file name and then store into the file and after that just display the file information use the same function i am using a in function so because we are performing the basket dot dat file and we are displaying all the information here we can use we can enter the information let's see whether it is executing the things or not and after performing the search operation is the 
question any question no, no there in the question no function name is specified then we can use any name for our own function let's see invalid syntax uh, just skip to close the bracket basket name is the colon is missing i'm just closing it so that it will be readable for you how many records suppose if i am entering two records enter the game name basket call participant is 23 another name is hockey and participants are 34 and what is the error it is showing all the information existing information but uh, it is the game dot dat what is the error okay though we have checked that information is already stored then i we can skip this thing and we are performing the displaying operation f2 is not specified where the f2 we have specified the f2 f2 dot close each and every time whenever you are opening a file you have to close it also and just close the both the things f1 display f2 we are just performing the display operation where the error again it is condition satisfy in the search operation there is a error f2 dot close f name f2 is not set, specified open game f2 print zero there is no need for this there is no need for this also game name is specified now we game da da let's execute again f2 is not specified we are have specified f2 this is the f2 name is specified correctly close this span here it is also showing the error okay this is the error in the display now you can see let's execute freshly information in basket by suppose if you want to store another information then you can store the information in another file information in the basket file is this it has not stored because there is no information related to the basketball let's add it again in the file game dot dat and let's see why it is not adding the information i'm just changing the information from while true and after that ch equal to enter by n if ch equal to equal to n then break how many records i am just entering one game name is basketball participants are 12 no info in basketball there is no record according to the name game name we can take another name of the file for the time being toy I'm just changing another name just to see the things why it is not executing the things 
basket me i'm just taking bas for that how many records 3 basket ball 12 yes 3 9 yes volleyball participant 15 no the basketball may you can see the information is already this way you can find out the difference now is there any other record now find the total number of teachers whose data is stored in the file suppose if you want to store the information i am not using the things because okay let's take the question again just putting the information here whose data is stored table name is emp just using the emp table yahan par s code s code sc equal to input enter s code after that s name just specify s name that means school name total number of teachers input number of teachers storing the information in the form of this you can store in the form of list also so that you can find out the difference i have entered the information specifying the information so the total number of teachers that we have to count just removing this function no need to use this function just perform the search operation in the search operation total number of teacher just specified one value over here we will store the some value here we are just finding the information i'm just storing the information of which column is the number of teacher which is at the second position that means third column which is at the second position storing the information and displaying the final result total number of teachers in all the school you can specify anything here also let's see whether it is executing the things or not or you can name function name is total teachers here we have to because if in the question that we have to use the same name which is specified in the question i'm just changing the name of the function you can change the file name also i'm using the same name just checking it again closing the things so that it will be more readable for you also how many records i am entering three records enter s code is four school name is dav teachers are 300 yes record is s code is 4544 is such deva number of teacher is 260 and then i we can enter s code is anything kv number of teacher is 150 no then you can see total number of teachers in all the schools is zero why it is showing zero value to us as you we have start specified in the starting de okay we just have to use the d just g now i am just making this function in the commented form what was the error because here i am using the storing of all the values in the g variable now you can see skv 
total number of teachers in the SKVG. D is in the form of number of teachers stored in the list form, stored everything in the G form. F2, okay, have you have not changed the file name? emp.dat emp.dat you have to take care of each and everything whether you have used the same name now let's see f3 is not defined because there is no more object related to that now you can see 710 that's all for all the question related to the binary still have in doubt then you can ask think